audience's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Do you get that, everybody? What that means is that it doesn't matter what they tell you, okay? It doesn't matter what they say. That's not what's important. The important thing for you to know is that you have a choice. You have a choice. You can choose to believe them, or you can choose to think, I can do it, even if they say I can't. Tell you a little bit about myself. Back in 2004, I had been teaching for about a year, and I decided that I wanted to fulfill one of my childhood dreams of living and working in Asia. Now, at that time, I had Korean students who were telling me all these wonderful things about the way I was and the passion that I brought to teaching and how great I was as a teacher and how much teachers like me were needed in Korea. So I thought, wow, here's my opportunity for my dream. I'm going to go for it. I was all excited. There were lots of job postings for jobs in Korea. And so I applied to employment agencies. And guess what? What do you think happened? They didn't. They didn't accept me. They never accepted me, so I wanted to know why. That's my question, Nicole. I wanted to know what was the problem. So I contacted them, and I asked, well, why? Why wasn't I accepted? Why, not, why am I not eligible for these jobs? The few people who responded told me, they said, guess what? You've got three strikes against you. One, you're black. Okay, there's race discrimination, they said. Two, you're older. I was, I was about 40. Back then, I was 40. And so I thought, okay, they said most of the teachers were like 25. And the third thing is, you want to take your two kids with you, not one, but two kids with you to Korea? No, no employer is going to hire you. You know, what are you thinking? They said, good luck. And I told them, thank you, and went on my way. And I found a way to apply online directly to Korean employers. And guess what, everybody? What do you think happened? I went to Korea with my two kids. I went to Korea with my two kids. In 2005, I found an amazing employer. He treated us awesomely. We had the most amazing year together in Korea. I cannot begin to tell you. My two boys, they're now 17 and 13. That year that they spent in Korea, is the most important year. They talk about it as a highlight of their lives because they had the opportunity to go there. And I will tell you also that in addition to that, I went back for another year and a half. And during that time, I met a man who is now my partner, my life partner. Had I not gone there, I wouldn't have met him. He's from California. He'd never been to Canada. I had never been to California. So sometimes, guys, you've got to follow, follow your dream. Don't let other people decide for you. What did I say before? Do you all remember? Someone else's, everybody remember? Someone else's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Right? Because look at me, right? It can happen to you too. So how do you overcome negative programming? I want to get right into it. How do you think, how, do you, how can you overcome negative programming? Because this is all programming. Do you all know that? Yeah. Yeah. This is programming that starts from the time.